Hey everyone, it's Melinda here. This is part two of my Japan vlog. Now, the first thing that I really, really want to talk about is internet. It's something that I should have mentioned in the first vlog, but yes, you do need a pocket Wi Fi or a SIM card. Those are the two choices that you have. You need the internet because you'll be relying on Google Maps the whole time you're there. If you don't have someone that lives there already or you don't have someone that's been to Japan previously, then get internet because that is your lifesaver. If you want to know like where to go to eat or how to get around Japan by bus or by train, Google Maps will be your best friend, guys. And I think I purchased a SIM card for about $25 to $30. So when I stayed in Japan, I did go and do the Mario Go karting with my partner, and that was probably the best highlight of my life in Japan. We have go karting here in Sydney, and it's just not the same because the go karting in Japan. Involved being on the road with the real cars and the trucks and being at the lights as well And it was just such an adrenaline and it was so fun Happy New Year! We made it! We got lost in the train as well Check this place out So many go karts It's a me, Luigi Go cut time, guys. We booked our Mario Go Karting thing online, and you do need two licenses your Australian driver's license and your international license. I'll pop it in the down bar below in case you guys are interested in the international one, how to get it, and how much it is, because you will need that. They will ask you for it. And the Mario Go Kart involves you being in a onesie character costume as well. And you don't have to wear it, I believe, but it's so much more fun when you get involved. And I was Luigi. My partner was Mario. So before we headed off anywhere, we lined up in front of the store. And we were about to take off. And I was so excited, I pushed real hard in the accelerator and I rammed into the guy in front of me. It was so embarrassing guys. I was like, I swear, I swear, I can fucking drive. I can drive. Like this was an accident. Luigi! <laughs> hey! We drove around for three hours guys, it was amazing. We went to um, Tokyo uh, Tower, we went uh, past the Shibuya Crossing on the Rainbow Bridge, we went around other places which I don't remember now, but if you're interested in that, I'll put it in the down bar below as well in case you're interested in doing the course. Uh, the hotel I'm looking so goddamn tired because I am but um yeah I'm in my hotel show you around you're walking through the front you leave your shoes down here you put in your slippers and if you have not paid for your room yet you can do so using this but I've already prepaid online so there we go there is a sink here with a mirror and I haven't really looked at what they've got here what's that is this a hair curler I don't know how to use this I tried so many times and I always fail but that hair dryer, some cups. What is that? Oh, cleansing oil, face moisturizer gel. I'm always interested in looking at this stuff when I go into a hotel. Like I'll, like look at the bathroom and look at all the accessories and that. I like actually taking my time to you know see what stuff they give. 
for the shave in here. This is exactly what I need because I didn't bring mine and I need to shave my legs. Toothbrush. They're so tiny. Hairbrush. That's it for there. Ooh. Then you walk through here. So in here there is the toilet. It's the new one with, you know, the um, water that flushes you down there. Then I've got a lovely jacuzzi which I'm going to use. Some nice stuff. Shampoo. I'm actually really excited to have a bath because I bought Lush bath bombs. Um, there's a shower right here so I'm going to be standing here having a shower which is weird because it's so open. And then I think there's a TV there as well when you have a jacuzzi. Walking out of the bath, there's the bedroom, it's really messy, I just unpacked everything, table, boyfriend on the bed, <laughs> and then there's like hot and cold water, TV, fridges in there, and then get this guys, karaoke! <laughs> there's two mics, couch which can turn into another bed, and then this is my outside view, just the front. <laughs> Japanese convenience stores are like awesome. There's your coat here. So you guys were in like this store with all these groceries and stuff. We went to the restaurants and they were all closed, probably because we're in a deserted place. Like everything just closes so early. So we're just grocery shopping and we're gonna try and yes, we're gonna try and find another restaurant. The shops here have like so much variety. Morning everyone and happy hump day. It's Wednesday. I'm having my breakfast. I'll show you what I have. Hang on. They got toast eggs. No wait, what is that? Salad, egg, actual egg. I thought I thought that was egg, but I think it's macaroni. Sausages, tomato sauce, butter, strawberry jam, sugar, cream, milk powder, coffee, orange juice. Alright guys, we are on our way. My boyfriend is driving the GTR. Check this out. Oops, that head's in the way. Yes, we are cruising. There are also other guys with us as well. So, yeah. Alright, here we go. Second Airbnb in Kyoto. Walk in and here's the kitchen straight away. It's a lot more bigger than the first Airbnb we went to. 
Wow, definitely a lot bigger. Cupboards. Might as well show you the bathroom anyway. Washing machine, electrical toilet, sink, shower, very small. <laughs> particularly sure who follows me on Instagram and who doesn't but if you do follow me you would have known that I am a fiance now and it feels weird every time I talk about my partner because sometimes I say boyfriend and I'm like oh ooh, sorry partner I mean partner fiance whatever I did not expect this if you guys were wondering I had no idea because at the time I was seeing the biggest bitch to him and I just was so hungry and tired at the time I didn't really think too much about anything in my head all I wanted to do was get the F out of where we were uh, we went to this place where it had like all these golden gates it's one of the biggest tourist spots in Japan people love taking photos there 6 o'clock in the morning good morning we are going hiking we're gonna go to the temple in Kyoto and we're gonna go look at some other stuff like the Nara Deer Park. So yeah, catch you guys later. Bye. No, the escalators don't work. No, I hate this. There's nobody here. It's just us two. Going to the place early so that we can take some really good photos before the tourists come because there's so much like Chinese tourists here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I'm engaged! So excited! Look how sparkly my pretty ring is. I don't know if I can show you in better lighting. Pretty. Thank you, Harby. I noticed that every photo I took was the exact same everywhere, it looked the same, so I just thought, you know what, I've seen enough, I want to go, I'm very hungry, I woke up at 5.30 and I'm tired, all I want to do is go somewhere else. Japan is big, I want to spend more time doing something else rather than spending hours here where everything just looks basically the same, you know what I mean? So, um, my boyfriend was trying to slow me down because I, I hurried him to get out of there and I didn't know at the time he was trying to find a place to propose to me and he faked a sore leg, like he, he was complaining how he couldn't walk properly and he was limping because his leg was sore. Little did I know that guy was faking it just so he can slow me down. I was so angry because I was hungry as it was. Like I was thinking, I can't be angry at him because he's in pain. You know, what am I going to do? Kick him down the stairs? Trust me, there were heaps of stairs there as well. When you go to that place, like warning there's heaps of stairs but it was like you know what can i do i need to let him rest he's tired and he's in pain let's just walk slowly so we find a fork in the road i was like to my um partner let's take a photo there because he wanted a photo of us together and we didn't take one together so i was like let's just ask this guy over here to take a photo of us you know he's with his family uh, we took one for him so i'm sure he won't mind taking one for us so he took a couple of photos for us and then we were about to head off 
then my partner was like oh can you just take another photo i, I want to do something and i was like oh babe no please like this guy is with his family he probably wants to go and walk around and look around with his family and god knows what you know just leave the guy alone and then my boyfriend was like oh um, i just i really want to do this so he kind of stood there and then um he was fumbling a bit and i like had my angry face on because i was like you know really annoyed i was like the fuck is going on what is he doing why is he taking another photo this guy like he's just driving me nuts does he not know how angry i am because i'm so fucking hungry and then he starts saying the words i wanted to do this for a long time and i was like oh my god and then he gets down on his knees and he's like i want to i want to ask you this and he starts making this speech up and then he proposes and I'm like, oh baby and my eyes start cheering and then he puts the ring on and I, you know, just do the whole kiss and hug reaction like I didn't cry at all um, I wanted to but I kept my tears in because I was like, no, not today, I'm not gonna cry so yeah, that was a really nice surprise guys I am now engaged and I have a fiancé and I always joke around with him every time I do something or I message him every morning we message each other and Mo was like, love you fiance! <laughs> so I do cheesy jokes like that with him. I'm in like some shopping center and the bottom floor is entirely food. It's awesome. Oh my god, there's like so much food everywhere. Everywhere. Snacks, cookies, seafood. You guys, look at all this dessert. Oh my god, Jap Japan dessert looks so yummy. You guys need to try the pancakes in Japan as well, it's so awesome. Look at this. That cake is like jelly and fruit. That is just awesome. Wow. Oh my god, yum. That is something that I would like to eat right now. Looks like creme brulee. I want to show you guys this creme brulee that I got from the store a couple hours ago. You probably saw it in my video again a couple of hours ago I'm just opening it around the bed because my phone's charging it's almost gonna die but it's they packaged this bloody cream brulee like it was a $25,000 ring or something like that like something ridiculous it's amazing how much quality and care they put into this open the box and voila oh my god so hard to do this with one hand. The creme brulee is just precious. Oh, so good. And there's like, I thought the thing on the side was napkins, but no, it's like little ice packs. It was frozen before to keep the creme brulee nice and cool. That is amazingly thoughtful, guys. You don't get this in Sydney. It was just on the side. <laughs> Oh my god, they're chasing her because she's got all the food. <laughs> oh, this little girl's scared of the deer. Oh, so cute. <laughs> I don't have food for you, baby. I don't have any food for you. I'm sorry. They think you have food for them, baby. So hubby and I on bikes. I'm gonna go around this beautiful thing. Ooh. Driving with one hand. Kinda cute this is on my little bike. Going uphill. Oh. Are there any koi fish in here? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you guys, can you see that thing moving really fast? It's a freaking turtle. <gasps> the turtle is coming. Oh my god, it's actually coming. Maybe it thinks that I've got bread. Oh, baby, I don't have bread for you. I'm sorry. Oh no, it's looking at me. I don't have bread. I'm sorry. He swam so fast. Oh, I feel bad. I'm sorry, turtle. Heading to the bamboo park. Our last day 
here. We woke up extra early just to get here, to beat the crowd, but there's still a lot of people here. Look at that. How amazing does that look? Can't get over how sparkly this ring is, like full on bling and a half. Hubby did really well, huh? It's on my middle finger because it can't fit this finger. I'm gonna take it over to the sock to resize it, so yeah.